Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we do have a special, talented, spiritual guest in the building. So brace yourself, it's going to be fun. Um, just to do a quick intro, his name is Fola B. Newell. Uh, and he's an outstanding creative Christian. He sings powerfully, writes timeless songs, leads intense worships, and plays a range of musical instruments brilliantly. His debut single called God of Heaven peaked a number one on top five gospel charts for several weeks. And his first EP, Good God, has commendably plays with songs like In My Boat, My Heart, and Good God. Then Falabi Noel is a vessel gifted with creative blend of the soul rock and jazz genres his music creates a unique sound of truth that brings you to a consciousness of who god is he was ranked number one on um, a list a, a very popular list of new generational gospel artists his sophomore album under sugar gear records hunger live was ranked 16th on apple music gospel charts or a little over a month after its release beautifully well-known piece like yeswa or mema Featuring new certified songs were off his album as well. Please welcome with me Falabi Newell. Hi. Hi. Welcome. welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Yes. Okay, so that was very interesting. Um, Thank you. I think the Christian industry and yeah. the singing industry is not yeah. a joke. Um, I think people really look down on it and think the about like it's just beans, yeah. but you've been able to put some structure into it. You have grown on the um, charts abroad yeah. and home. You have performed, you have al EPs and albums and all of that. Yeah. So how has that been for you away from just reading it off paper? Yeah. How's that been for you as a living through that? I mean, it's tough, you know, um, it requires hard work, but getting the result is, you know, um, I think rewarding. Mm. Uh, because of the space you're in, you have to deliberately try not to limit yourself and think outside the box. So. Mm. Okay, so I have one more question before I can yeah. go. Um, usually when we interview a lot of artists and stuff, right. they usually start with church. Like, yeah. started playing at church and yeah. then they leave church. Yeah. You haven't left church. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Yeah, so um, how did you not find... No, not ever, I okay. guess. Um, I want to know, how did you find music and how yeah. did you then put God in your music and then stay there? Like, what was the third process? Um, I, th I think for me, I got saved through music and that's why it's special. So... Mm. Um, Loving the instrument and knowing that the only way I could learn the instrument is joining the church. And I think that was part of like God's plan. So joining the church, I fell in love with God, got to know him some more and started to serve. So that's why it's very important for me. And I don't think I would ever leave that. You know. Mm. All right, so um, people underestimate the power of stories because yeah. um, I want to believe you said um, you got saved and that's why you, you stayed there. Yeah. Was there anything in particular that you want to share that was happening at that point that you found Christ that probably you don't know if it's going to inspire somebody? Watching? Yeah, I think, you know, um, there's always something missing mm. in terms of like, oh, purpose or, you know, living a fulfilled life. Right. Right. I was in that space as a teenager. You have all those questions. Right. Yeah. So uh, but I think at some point, um, giving my life to Christ, you know, and just understanding the love. I think that's one thing people uh, miss yes. out on, you know, that overwhelming love because everyone wants to be loved. Right. And then finding or finding out that there is a God, a supreme being that loves you in spite of yourself. That's remarkable. Yeah. And so that you know, that in feeling and just reassurance of love. That was it for me, I guess. All right. I know the sole purpose of what you're doing is yeah. obviously to, you know, share the word and um, spread the word mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. But we sure can't deny the fact that, man, we're all looking for money. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about the showbiz aspect of, um, you know, the gospel space. How yeah. creative is it? Hmm. In some ways it is. If you take it from the scriptural point of view hmm. where <laughs> yeah because it's based on that right um besides the fact that you're um sharing the good news there's also that craft that excellence right mm. and so if you put in the work because it's good music it's great music so um if you put out great music mm. you would get great revenue mm. so besides the fact so it's like you're doing ministry and then that's taking care of you 
I've never had a gospel rapper freestyle for me. <laughs> gospel uh, singer. I'm not sorry, a, a, gospel, sorry, a, gospel, a gospel singer. Yes, right. Because I, mean, I was going to talk about freestyle. <laughs> a gospel yeah. singer, you know, freestyle and yeah. just do something off the top of their head. Yeah. Let's see how God is going to minister with you. Hallelujah. Right okay. Amen. <laughs> Shall we? Do you want to give us something? Hmm. That's a tough one. Yeah, I know. Are you going to give me like a bit? No, no beats. No You're beat. just going to do it. It's God speaking through you Hallelujah. right now. Okay. Oh. Do you have a word in mind? Sanctified. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> sanctified. Okay, sanctified. That's a deep word. Mm. Hmm. I'm you. set free, redeemed, and sanctified. I'm set free, redeemed, and sanctified. I'm set free, redeemed, and sanctified. I'm set free, redeemed, and sanctified. Say, oh, hey, 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 hey. Set free, redeemed. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Sanctified. I'll just give you the next banger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's on TV, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like Thank that. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, but you know, I, I like the answer that you gave. Very safe. Mm -hmm. But I want to now know more. Because yeah. I looked through your, obviously, your social media. Quite engaging. Yeah. Like, it's clear that you are busy. Yeah. Um, do churches pay you? Yeah, they do. Okay. They do. Because how they do you then... what figures? Six <laughs> figures? No, no. It, it's Is relative. So, figures? because it's an honorarium, in a sense. Mm. So, there's no figure. And... Um, you don't want to put a price on it, to be honest. That's what I want to know, because yeah. then I know that with the church, a lot of it is, you know, free, like, a, a lot of service yeah, and, service. you know, giving to God. Yeah. So how do you now say, okay, this is giving to God, but you must pay me. And then how do you then negotiate that? Is it, do, does a manager do it? Because I know with the secular scene, yeah. it's a lot more formal, right? Sometimes you involve a lawyer, yeah. you yeah. involve your manager who talks figures and stuff. Yeah. Do you do that with the pastors? Uh, not necessarily. So, mm. because I work with a team of people, so my musicians, so I tell you, oh, my musicians, they don't have the call that I have, so it's unfair to put that burden on them. So, mm. I tell them, this is what my musicians charge, so please take care of that, take care of logistics, and whatever is laid in your heart. It's safer that way, then you're not doing the music because of the money. Mm. It's just a slippery slope, mm. right? So Very slippery, actually. Very slippery. So, yeah. with time, you start to focus more on what's going to come in and mm. that that's it that's not a good place to be okay but uh, i want to know about your song that you have out maybe yeah. the latest one you can tell me what was going on in your mind why you chose the lyrics that you chose yeah. and how you sang it like basically walk us through the process of how you created your your recent yeah album. i mean my my recent album is called hunger and that's from a place of desiring god some more you know just going deeper and that's very important and amazingly, it was during the pandemic, the lockdown, which is important. People were distracted. People were thinking about, you know, what next to eat, mm. if I'm going to lose my job. But in the end, we should focus our attention on God. He knows the end from the beginning. Mm. Right? So, um, so it's from a place of desiring God, you know, and being uh, focused on him. Amazing stuff. Okay, so because we, we're running out of time, yeah. if there's anything you want the fans to hold on to, obviously some people have never heard your music right yeah. now, but they're feeling you're like, okay, it's cute, it makes <laughs> sense, it's sanctified, da, 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 we like the freestyle. What can you describe, how, or how can you describe your music and your sound that would say, guys, actually give me a chance and listen to my stuff? It's different. So mm -hmm. there was a time when gospel music was, you dance in front of a flower and then, you know, all of that stuff. But it's different now. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, and there's nothing wrong with that, but we've evolved. So we are very excellent, you know. We go through the process of making sure our songs are mixed well, mm. you know. Some of us go, you know, to the extent of sending it out to be mixed. Mm. So you enjoy that quality sound. Right. You put in the work. And you should enjoy it. And besides, you, we can all see the um, international recognition oh, yeah. in that chat oh, yeah. right yeah. now. And yeah. I think yeah. that's an inspiration yeah. for a lot of gospel yeah. musicians. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, do you guys have a strong bond? I mean, your colleagues now in the, in the like yeah. the way people. Yeah, I think so. so I would like you, to think so. Do you have features that you're looking at with the scene? And would you also feature people who are not in the Christian? Oh, definitely. Space? Okay. So oh, definitely. I've been asked. I've been asked that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. um, as I feel like. Um, if you look at the story of Jesus, Jesus, you know, fellowshiped mm -hmm. with... Uh, sinners. Yeah, sinners. And that's the goal. So you're calling David a sinner now? You said David. <laughs> I don't think... I don't know. <laughs> I know what he hasn't found I think David once at a fellowship, a prayer mm -hmm. fellowship, you know, and he played the drums. So I don't mm. know. That's between him and God. <laughs> what would you do a feature with him? If the song is right, if the values are right. Mm. 
Yeah. Check me. Have a lot of nowhere. All right, thank you so much You're for um, being you. on Tea Time with us. Guys, we're going to go on a quick music break, but don't go anywhere. We have more in store for you.